If you like this video, please subscribe and click that little bell for notifications when we release a new video. Please also consider supporting us on Patreon. Hello, James? Yes. Hi, Courtney. Wow, you look just like your profile picture. Yes, I know. So, you're taking me on a virtual dinner date? Yes, I was thinking. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> oh, that's fancy. We do need to mind the budget. <laughs> this is what I ordered. Steelhead trout roe with a sauce of cured grapefruit and white wine reduction. What restaurant do you think we're at? <laughs> the Salon du Thé du Paris, <laughs> obviously. I was thinking more, uh... Olive Garden? Oh. <laughs> um, but hey, uh, there's this new skill I've been juggling. I mean, learn, learn, juggling. <laughs> so have I. Baby, it's you! You're the one I need! You're the only one I see! Come on, baby, it's you! <sighs> Let's toast to Winning at life, James. Sure, but uh, who's life? <laughs> well, hello, gorgeous. Oh, Chris, you're a little bit early. And you look exactly like your profile. <laughs> oh, Chris, so do you. What's going on here? Courtney, two guys and a girl. Oh, no, I don't do webcam shows anymore. Oh, uh, well, well, I do, and I've been learning a new skill. <sighs> Oh, Chris, we should totally do a collab. I would collab with you anytime. Oh, Chris. Anywhere. Like Bali. <laughs> oh, Chris. You know that's Hawaii, right? James, we gotta go. It's been real, but maybe a little too real. Ciao. Cause you're the one I love, only one I need, only one I see. How about shutting up over there, me. huh, Beyonce? Oh, we're recording. Um, hi. <laughs> well, welcome to Pull My Focus: Adventures in the World of Digital <laughs> Filmmaking, where we give you the inside tips you need to make great video. That's right. Very nice. So. I'm sure at this point you've seen quite a few videos <laughs> made like this. And it seems simple when you think about it. It's like, well, everyone has a laptop and or a phone or a tablet and just record that way. And what's the problem? It yeah. should be easy, right? It's... Nothing is easy in filmmaking. So we're going to talk about um, some of the problems we anticipated, how we planned for them and other problems we ran into what we dealt with in order to uh, make this this little short zoom dating and really the whole idea is if you want to do this type of recording we wanted to try it out and find out what actually happens um because we don't like to make shit up right, right? can we say shit on youtube are we going to get dinged you we're going to lose advertisers you can say it at least twice <laughs> okay okay great the so the concept so one of the things that when you're a scrappy filmmaker or YouTuber, independent filmmaker, right, is that sometimes, you know, not just budgetary, but sort of production uh, limitations will dictate what you can do. And the original concept that Manu had was kind of more about James was a schlub. Yeah. And Courtney wasn't, and Courtney's making elaborate meals and had a better look. And he, you know, at one point, James spills his wine and because he's a klutz and short circuits his laptop and switches to his phone and all that. And we right. realized that. I forgot about that. Yeah, we forgot about that. We, but we realized, as, uh, uh, particularly as we were doing table reads, is the actors, we need the actors to just be actors as much as possible, but they're also the camera person and the audio guy, right? Yeah, that's, yeah. And so we needed to minimize the technical aspects as much as possible. Because what we were doing, by the way, is we were each 
actor was recording themselves. We wanted the best audio and video we could get um, in the circumstances uh, versus recording it uh, just using Zoom or in our case, we were using Video Hangout. We knew we could get good audio because all the actors, they also have, um, you know, they're actors, so they have voiceover recording set up. So we could, they, they all had very good audio. But it, the, the video ran the gamut from cell phone to, to DSLR. DSLR. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, and one thing we did with them that was helpful and we, we always want to do now is we did table reads doing a video hangout. And we did a couple of them and that gave us, um, that helped us sort of workshop the, the script and take it to another place. And, and so with that input in it, at one point, you know, Manu had a good point. He would, he would listen to my rewrites and he had a comment where when he says, Hey, what if after Courtney shows the picture of her beautiful dinner, which clearly she just got from the internet, um, James says, what restaurant do you think we're at? All of a sudden, the whole direction of the script changed because we realized at that point that instead of trying to have him be this schlub um, uh, without the spilling wine and all those other things, it just made more sense that, okay, he's he just wants a real connection with a human being while he's stuck at home like the rest of us. Yeah. And he wanted a real date. But Courtney, who is an Insta uh, uh <laughs> personality is that what they're called is in, <laughs> aren't they all uh is in the catbird seat she's like gets to be a, a, even more of this unreal version of herself um but she's not really that way she's actually pretty amazing so anyways she's an actor she's acting like that so that brought the whole script in a in a, another direction and then we said let's bring chris in and have him steal courtney away with his his instantness yeah um and so that, um, the whole script really changed from all of that. And, and we think made it a lot better than, than the original idea. One of the things that we kind of believe in is this whole saying that it takes three bad jokes to get to the fourth good one. And the idea there is that you work through, it's like brainstorming, you work through this, you work its iteration, but you wouldn't get to that final fourth a good joke or final fourth good script or whatever it is if you didn't go through all that other stuff that you had you had yeah. to go through from a technical aspect we also did tech rehearsal so we did one-on-one -on -one with each actor where they would record literally like five second piece of video with audio and then that meant the file was small enough that they could send it to us um right there while we're having the video hangout with them and then s have them adjust the camera frame just the mic and other things and levels and things like that uh, because while we were recording we knew that there was no way we we're going to be able to uh, watch the takes right we're not going to be able to review anything we're going to have we're not going to have to wait for the actors to bundle it all up send it to us and then look at it and see what we got yeah which is yep. hugely frustrating, but that's what we got to do. <laughs> and that's what it was like back in the film days, right? Because I mean, people still shoot, shoot film. Well, uh, uh, you had video tap, so you could at least look at that. Um, and speaking of video tap, it also meant that while we were recording, um, we needed the actors to have a separate device that showed us that, that had them be in the video hangout with us so we could direct them. Now, obviously, it wasn't going to be the them looking into the camera. It was going to be, you know, I think Courtney was off to the side and or James was off to the side. Courtney had two phones, I think, <laughs> on her laptop, you know, actually clipped to the top of her laptop. So um, it's not ideal and it is what it is. Yeah. And you make the best of it. And that's what we did. Anything you want to add to that before we go through it? No, let's take a look and commentate right. as we go. I have a I have a fourth note. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, right off the bat, like we mentioned, Courtney has this. She's using a she no. She's using a laptop for her camera, right? For this on. No, no. She's using her phone. No, the laptop this, was so the, old it recorded four eighty. Yeah, this is the phone. Yeah. <laughs> 
it it looked too good. <laughs> so we wanted a contrast between this shot here and that shot there. So I already had to desaturate. I had to make an iPhone look worse, which is starting to get hard nowadays. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, you know, right off the bat, she's hitting the button and she's like, oh, we, I'm not, I'm in the real world. I need not to be in the real world. I need to be who I, who I am online, right? Meanwhile, George, uh, George um, James is, uh, I think he's shooting with a rebel. It's supposed to be his, a rebel. It's supposed to be a Zoom call, but he's shooting with like a rebel, uh, Canon rebel. And and we knew we wanted, right, to, uh, uh, you know, as we workshop this, we added this piece where Courtney, quote unquote, taps and turns on some Insta filter. Yeah. Which is, I don't know, that's even real. The, um, so we knew we were going to add Cosmo and do some tweaking of the color, right? What, what did you do? Vibrance? Yeah, I just, I boosted the saturation. I added a Cosmo filter, which if you don't know is, uh, is one of the filters that's in Red Giant Universe. And it, uh, it's basically a, a, a skin smoother. Um, but I blew it out of proportion. Like I went nuts with it. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, saturation. adding diffusion. It's exactly. It's like diffusion, but specific diffusion to skin tones. Right. Um, right on the face versus the whole. Versus the whole. It whole. keeps it, it keeps the sharpness and everything else. We're still going to do a video about that. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, right. Let's keep going. Hello, James. Yes. Hi, Courtney. Wow, you look just like your profile picture. Yes, I know. So you're taking me on a virtual dinner date? Uh, one thing I want to say about the audio. Yeah, we, we had playback you had each of the actors since we were all we did this together they didn't shoot this separately um which i thought was actually a good idea because that got us through it faster so we didn't have to do f three different sessions of hours right. we did together but in doing it together each of the actors had to listen to what's called playback or not really playback but live they had to listen yeah. to them each other so they had, they had a like a, a device playing the other person's audio which made it really hard not to hear the other actors. So basically, if they, they just were sure not to step on each other's lines, to give each other a little time, I had to go in each individual person and clip the beginning and the end of every single line. But yeah. you'll probably have to do that in, in post anyway. Like, we've done that on shoots where we have controlled sound because you don't want dead dead sound to interrupt you. Can you keep going? Uh, one other thing, I want to talk about the lighting real quick. Courtney. So James is under an um, you know those sort of muslin umbrellas that you would have in your backyard around a table. That's what he's using now. So the sun is coming up over, I think, to his right side, and so he's uh, using that as a silk. And Courtney has uh, is facing a window. Yeah, which is beautiful. Which, yep. So the the shade is open. Um, it's daylight, not direct sunlight, and then she has two umbrellas on either side or, or um, not umbrellas. Yeah. Oh, does umbrellas. she? Photography umbrellas. But for, kind of. Yeah, that she uses for when she has to do audition, you know, yeah. camera auditions. And so she's giving herself a little bit edge light. Lighting, 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 guys. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going? Yep. All right. Yes, I was thinking. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> oh, that's fancy. Now, that's a trick you can do in your videos right now. Um, if you think about your transitions, you can do stuff. A lot of people do stuff like where they hit the side of the camera. They don't, please don't hit the side of your camera. They hit the side of the camera and it bounces and you know, that bounce will go into the next transition or sometimes they'll wipe this way and then in the next shot, wipe this way. So that's a way to make your shots look more dynamic if you think about transitions like that. And this was more of a, it's more of a like, if phones had crazy features, we want to put Courtney more in an unrealistic um, yeah. light, like she's doing weird things with her phone. Um, that's one of the things, and that's actually an easy way for us to get out of one outfit into to the other. Um, but but yeah. all, these are all different ways of doing the transitions. This is supposed to be a live transition though, but. Can you show uh, the transition again? Yeah. Um, yes, I was thinking. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Oh, that's fancy. Yeah. So all it is really is is the sound that you added. I added, I, mean? I added sound, yeah. um, and a little static noise as if the computer did something. But realistically, it's just you know, oh, that's wonderful. Boop, 
cut. Right. All right, go change. Okay, and action. And and now, picking it up. Right. So it's a cut on the action. Now also, because she's using her phone, um, it auto mm -hmm. uh, sets the f stop. Yeah. And it worked for this shot. So you'll notice that the the um, uh, she's slightly overexposed at first. Yeah. Are you looking for a cat. Yeah. Oops, that's speed. I don't want to do speed. I want to do this. So yeah, that's the that's the phone going. Oh my god, I don't have enough light. Let me adjust. Oh my god, I have too much light. Let me adjust. And notice how it kind of slowly gets back to skin tone. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and that's fine. It worked for the effect. But if you're doing other things where the character's moving around or something like that, yeah, uh, if they're using anything that's auto white balancing as well as auto focusing and auto setting exposure it's going to go all over the place. So, and that's why it's really important to also, you know, do these, do a tech rehearsal with them. Yeah. So you can, you're looking for problems that are going to happen when you actually are shooting. Cool. Fancy. We do need to mind the budget. <laughs> this is what I ordered. Steelhead trout roe with a sauce of cured grapefruit and white wine reduction. Stock so, footage. Stock, stock image. So footage would be great. Uh, footage isn't cheap. A lot of times we'll use some that we, we've, we you know, we already bought um, or we have for whatever reason. But I mean, we got this from Pond5. We love Pond5. Uh, and this, I don't know, what did this cost? $3.50 for, <laughs> yeah. for like a, a, you know, a super high res still yeah. that we could kind of zoom out of a little bit. Um, one thing I, that I liked, and so this is in the iteration process where Manu, um, you know, we want to, this to be fake. Like she, this, where did she, she just found this on the internet? The, she didn't cook this meal. Like what world does she live in? Manu, you added those little. Yeah, little, little, little glitches, little glitches, little pops here and there. Um, bzzit. yeah, those little, bzzits, those little beats. Um, let's keep going. Ooh think we're at the salon du thé du Paris, <laughs> obviously I... so let's talk about <laughs> you want to get you want to tell them about oh, the line <laughs> the salon so the the original script i found some insane actual restaurant i think it's really just a cafe in, in paris but it's the salon um salon de thé the, the grand da, da 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 I can't remember. I don't have the script. It's much thing. longer. That's okay. It's just a much it's much, longer. much longer. And once we got to the final, final edit, like we're like, God, that's just so long. Yeah. And it's not working. And the actor was like, Yeah, it's kind of dragging there. And what we realized is that um we the joke really is just, hey, you know, James is asking, where do you think we are? And she goes, I'm in Paris. You yeah. Know? We just need to get to it really quick. Yeah. So Manu just used an edit to cut her her line down. Yeah. We should show the original maybe. What restaurant do you think we're at? The Salon du Thé du La Grande Masque du Paris, <laughs> obviously. But this this is all about pacing right now. We we need to we need to keep going. Whenever you're watching your edit, and if you feel a moment where you're kind of waiting for the next thing to happen, you need to cut it. You really do because if you're waiting and you're the editor, they're not going to wait. The people who watch are going to wait. Yeah. So now we're trying to get a little more of that dynamic overlapping of conversation and stuff like that happening. And cutting that line was you know. Yeah, we had to cut it. Um, shorter. Yeah, and it wasn't like shorter. shortened to read. It was just the yeah. line just didn't just work. Just didn't work it, in the script. On, on paper, it worked. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was thinking more uh, Olive Garden. That's cute. I like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like a clap. Yeah. Um, but hey, uh, there's this new skill I've been juggling. I mean, learn, learn, juggling. <laughs> so, so that was improvised. His line was different. And, um, but, but it worked where he's, he, at one point he messed the lineup, and yeah. kept, but he keeps going, right? That's what actors do. And, it, and uh, he's got a lot of stage experience, James. Yeah. Uh, uh, so it, but it was funnier that he juggled, misjuggled the words. Yeah. And it made him, even though we didn't want him to be schlubby anymore, 
it just kind of fit because he's nervous and he wants to impress her and he just kind of s- screwed up with Olive Garden. <laughs> so have I. Baby, it's you! You're the one I need! Is this clear to everyone this is a filter, like a crazy TikTok? Like, what was that other thing? Uh, this, this, it, I'm sure it's clear to everyone that she's not Beyonce. <laughs> yes, I think it's okay. pretty, pretty clear. All right, so we can move past this, right? But, <laughs> but she can sing and she, she actually can. did, yeah. she just did a video on YouTube where she's doing uh, as many of the princesses from Disney. Oh, did she really? I have courage and I'm trying to, I'm right out here for you. Oh, Lumia, we must do something. <laughs> She's calling to you, feed. She's got an amazing voice, and I, we've I've seen her in pieces where she sings and all. Yeah. Okay, so we wouldn't make it out of this world, so that's where the pop star came from. You're the only one I see. Come on, baby, it's you. <sighs> and I also want to add really quick. This is done in premiere. These, all the video additions with the exception of maybe one or two like i did the waveform that's behind her like in after effects that was generated by me but everything else is off of the free templates that's in premiere so if you're going to the uh, if you're in the essential graphics editor and you just click on free and you look through the free templates that adobe gives you everything there i didn't create any of that i got it all from templates that are available in Adobe. Um, so check that stuff out because it's very, very useful. You can re- repurpose a lot of their stuff. Um. Let's toast to winning at life, James. Sure, but uh, who's life? <laughs> One of my favorite lines, Frank, very well, very well written. And that's, yeah, because it went in that other direction. So at this point we realize he's, he's I'm done. This isn't happening. Yeah. I'm done with this. Because the thing I missed to say was the original idea was dating, first dates are awkward. What if they were awkward um, like this. online? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which they probably are. Yeah. Okay. Well, hello, gorgeous. Oh, Chris, you're a little bit early. And you look exactly like your profile. <laughs> oh, Chris, so do you. If you guys remember Chris... That's not a very yeah. flattering thing to freeze on. <laughs> <laughs> Let me move him up a little bit. If you guys remember Chris, he was in the sketch. Um, the on the street sketch with the woman. Hey, sweet buns looking yummy. Excuse me. I forget what it's called. With the red no, I forget too. But he's amazing. Yeah. And getting him into um, this Kind of was like a last minute thing, but we definitely want to work with Chris a lot more. He's yeah, a yeah. seriously amazing actor. Um, Here, Courtney, two guys and a girl. Oh, no, I don't do webcam shows anymore. Oh, so what was Chris shooting with? Laptop. Right. Yeah. And I think so a one Windows. Problem yeah. You might run into where is older laptops, Courtney's recorded 480. Mine is a 2014 QuickTime will record at 720p, mm. which is not what we want. Right. Because we needed to go full screen. We wanted at least 1080. Right. Um, and uh, so I don't, uh, he has a PC and I think he had a webcam. Yeah, he had a webcam. Uh, yeah, he had a webcam. webcam. So we have the gamut. We have a webcam, we have a phone, and we have a DSLR. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, let's keep going. Oh, I, well, I do. And I've been learning a new skill. Oh. <laughs> oh, Chris, we should totally do a collab. And this was <laughs> the first time we did. I don't know how we came up with the idea. We're like, what's he going to do? Is he going to actually, you know, we actually had him do. You can almost see it in that shot. We had him like play with some exercise device just as a plan B. But we're like, well, let's just do green screen. Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. that we paid for and what was worth every penny because it's just for, hilarious yeah uh the hard body once again free template on uh, in adobe premiere yeah oh chris we should totally do a collab i would collab with you anytime oh and the, chris and you know to pull that plate we did have we recorded after we were done with everybody we had uh chris point the camera 
at a wall that was all blue. No, was it blue or white? It I was blue, remember. actually. Yeah, it was blue. Yeah. Um, we didn't. We knew we weren't going to pull. Be able to pull perfect plates and stuff like that. But well, well, that shot's coming up. I just realized I just jumped ahead. Yeah. Anywhere, like Bali. <laughs> oh, Chris. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> that's. Yeah, Chris didn't have a green screen, so we had him point at a blue wall, a blue enough wall. It was still yeah. a hell of a time trying to get the Bali, which is actually Hawaii, which is actually footage that we shot in Hawaii, um, yeah. to be correct. But I, I, I like the fact that um, it's all fringy around you know? him, you know? It looks like yeah. an Instagram filter that's kind of gone hairy, yeah. but she's still impressed. Zoom. The Zoom background, you know, all, all of the Zoom, Microsoft, all the office video conference things do that. Yeah. And I love to want to show their messy room. Yeah. They don't. <laughs> and I they love to show their backlight. They don't want to show their backlight. <laughs> I can see the, yeah. Come on, you or, guys. Oh, my, oh, my light giving me a little. Even when we do a Zoom meeting, we look this good. No, let me stop. <laughs> um, Except for my what looks like a comb over. My hair's getting so long. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's Hawaii, right? James, we got to go. It's been real, but maybe a little too real. Ciao. And then he, the poor protagonist. <laughs> How about shutting up over there, huh, Beyonce? All right. Now, that came up. We were trying to figure out the ending, and in one of the rehearsals, he just started, James just started goofing around singing that. Yeah. And we, and we realized, oh, yeah. Yeah. I th uh, uh, Just to wrap up a little bit of this, I like, we've changed, I think Frank and I have changed our writing styles in that we make, um, we write a script that's, Okay, you can change the number for me, Frank, but 80% to 90% um, there. and But we want to leave some leeway because we, we know our actors and we trust our actors to, to, to feel what can actually come out of this script, right? So you want to, did you talk about the table read at all really quick? I did, yeah, at the beginning. Bit, right, yeah, so yeah. during the table read, things will come up from the script and we'll go, huh. Oh. If it's a good idea, it's a good idea. I mean, if we're laughing yeah. at it, you, so don't be so precious about your script. Sometimes other input, like we'll bounce each other off each other a lot. But um, so those are all the things that come out like, hey, that's a great idea, you know. But yeah, so technically production issues um, that we run into is what's doing the recording? How well is it going to record audio? I mean, right now, you know, we've got, I'm recording, yep. you know, various ways. Mine is listening and recording through here. So nothing's <laughs> easy, but I think the bottom line is when you're when you're doing um, a take, yeah. Uh, when you're doing this kind of recording, is do tests, which we've say through all our videos all the time. Do technical tests, um, workshop stuff, so the actors and you are ready. Um, and we didn't do any reshoots here, but I would say be ready to do reshoots. Uh, one of the most important things in that regard is if you have to reshoot, um, whatever you use as the, I keep doing air quotes. <laughs> I'm an air quote. <laughs> one thing that will save you is record the height from the floor of the, of camera. the right. center of whatever your camera, like here, it's my little thing down there. Um, if you can match that height, you, it, when you do, when you're resetting a camera to reshoot something later, it will save you because yeah. the height is e e everything. That's Zoom date. That's uh, Zoom date. four weeks of work for two minutes. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I don't want to scare you guys <laughs> off. Um, you want to take us out? Recording right now, honey. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> My honey left, so I, can record. I I'm not in the conference call, honey. <laughs> life <laughs> once again thank you uh, i also want to mention something real quick um we reached ten thousand subscribers we haven't really acknowledged it but we reached ten thousand subscribers so thank you very much thank you um, yeah that's a huge uh goal for us and uh we are very happy about it 
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out PullMyFocus.tv for all our companion articles that go with these videos. And that's it, right? And let us know in the comments what you, um, if you have an idea that you want to try to shoot and you've got concerns about, you know, the production aspects or any qu questions about that, let us know. Or if you've actually made videos this way and what you've learned, we'd love to hear it. Yep.